Welcome to the Rock Island Hydro Project. Our virtual tour begins with a gently curved spillway, with powerhouses, like bookends, on each end. To start, this is Rock Island Hydro Project itself. It's the oldest dam on the Columbia River. You'll see the gentle curve of our spillway, with powerhouses, like bookends, on each end. The Hydro Project is located near the geographical center of Washington State, on the Columbia River, about 12 miles downstream from the city of Wenatchee. By river, the dam is 235 miles below the Canadian border and 453 miles above the mouth of the river at Astoria, Oregon. Rock Island Dam is constructed on Columbia River basalt, similar to that which is exposed on the cliffs near the dam. The dam is a reinforced concrete structure, which has its base anchored to this solid basaltic bedrock. Looking from the Douglas County side, a 590-foot-long gravity dam section rises above and in front of the left bank fishway. Attached to this wall is the 870-foot-long headwork, which includes the first powerhouse. In 1927, the Rock Island site came to the attention of the Stone and Webster Engineering Corporation. On December 17, 1928, an application was filed with the Federal Power Commission for a preliminary permit to investigate the site. This was followed by an application for a license, submitted in January 1929 by the Washington Electric Company. The license was authorized on October 16, 1929, and on January 14, 1930, at the beginning of the Great Depression, construction started on the first dam to span the Columbia River. The development of Rock Island Dam occurred over a period of some 50 years. There were three main construction periods, each taking place about 20 years apart, as the need for affordable hydroelectric power was paramount in the region. Development began in 1930, and the dam, powerhouse, and first four operating units were turned over to Puget Sound Power and Light Company on June 30, 1931, and construction was completed in December 1932. Work on completion of the dam, powerhouse expansion, and installation of six additional units by Chelan County PUD began in July 1951 and was completed on April 30, 1953. Construction of the second powerhouse, with its eight turbine generators located on the west bank of the river, began on August 4, 1974. The second powerhouse was placed in commercial operation on August 31, 1979. The spillway is divided by the center fishway and has a total length of 1,424 feet. The east spillway contains a total of 14 gates, while the west spillway has 17. The second powerhouse is 470 feet wide. In Powerhouse 1, there is one house unit rated at 1,230 kilowatts, and all four of the original generators have been rewound. One generator retains its original nameplate rating of 15,000 kilowatts. The other three were upgraded, and each now have a nameplate rating of 20,700 kilowatts. The six additional generators are each rated at 22,500 kilowatts. The second powerhouse contains eight horizontal bulb turbine generators. They were the first installed in the United States and were the largest in the world when installed between 1974 and 1979. The generators are encased in watertight steel shells. Each submarine-like bulb is located within a draft tube or a water passage. Each generator has a nameplate rating of 51,300 kilowatts, bringing the nameplate capacity of the eight units to 410,400 kilowatts. The total nameplate rating of both powerhouses is 623,725 kilowatts. The total project generates enough electrical power to serve a city the size of Vancouver, Washington. The spillway is made up of 32 spill bays, including three over-under gates and notched gates for improved fish passage. You might also notice fishways on each side of the dam and one running through the middle of the spillway, aiding adult fish on their journeys home to spawn. At Rock Island, juvenile fish best make their way to the ocean at this dam using available spring and summer spill through the spillway and passing through the turbine routes. Now that we've shown you around the hydro project, let's move upriver. 
These are what's known as the Rock Island Ponds, adjacent to the city of Rock Island. This is the community of Malaga. Along the way, we'll pass many tributaries that wash into the Columbia, including Rock Island Creek, Stemilt Creek, and Squilchuck Creek. You'll notice Kirby Billingsley Hydro Park as we travel north, just one of the 16 recreation areas Chelan PUD built and operates. This 70-acre park includes sports fields such as tennis and volleyball courts, baseball and soccer fields, a playground, 1.1 miles of trails, a boat launch, restrooms, and picnic shelters. Now we see Wenatchee on the west side of the Columbia and East Wenatchee on the opposite bank. These thriving communities rely on the river for green, clean hydropower, irrigation, and recreation. With respect to recreation in this area, our 16 recreational sites in Chelan and Douglas counties are enjoyed by 3 million visitors a year, five of which are related to our license for Rock Island Dam. People come from all over the U.S. to enjoy our sunshine, clean water, and parks. Additionally, our parks contain portions of the Apple Capital Loop Trail, a collectively owned and operated trail that circumnavigates the Columbia River in the heart of the Wenatchee Valley. Besides Kirby Billingsley Hydro Park mentioned before, our Rock Island Hydro Project recreation areas include Wenatchee Riverfront Park, Walla Walla Point Park, Wenatchee Confluence State Park at the confluence of the Columbia and Wenatchee Rivers, which includes the Haran Natural Area, and Coyote Dunes, a unique passive recreation area on the east side of the Columbia. Wenatchee Riverfront, Walla Walla Point Park, and Wenatchee Confluence State Park sit on the western shore of the Columbia River. Wenatchee Riverfront is a 31-acre site that includes 1.1 miles of trails, a boat launch and mooring, and restrooms. The 70 acres of Walla Walla Point Park consist of 1.2 miles of trails, substantial sports fields, including tennis, volleyball, squash courts, and softball fields, a playground, restrooms, and picnic shelters. The 197-acre Wenatchee Confluence State Park is operated by Washington State Parks and boasts 4.5 miles of trails, individual and group camping, a large wildlife viewing area called the Haran Natural Area, picnic shelters, a boat launch, restrooms, sports fields, and a playground. On the eastern shore lies a newly acquired passive recreation area called Coyote Dunes. This 26-acre parcel has 1.1 miles of trails, passing through a unique ecosystem containing native flora and fauna and interpretive signs. This is the home water preserve in the Wenatchee foothills and a mule deer habitat. Chelan PUD manages this area under the existing Rock Island license for the benefit of wildlife. Well, we've made it all the way to Rocky Reach Dam, another of Chelan PUD's hydro projects. We hope you've enjoyed your tour of the Rock Island Hydro Project.